Hey! Better. Listen, you have every right to be mad, but before you say anything, can I just speak? Sure. Here's the thing. I did tell Natalie that I liked you when I met you in the elevator. And I did tell Natalie that I was going to call you, but then, like, a day later, I went out on a date with this woman named Elaine. And then I went out on another date with her, and it's gotten a little serious, which is why I never called you. But I wanted to come up here and tell you that personally. First of all, because I thought it was the menschy thing to do. And second of all, because I really did like you when I met you in the elevator. Now you should feel free to yell at me. Who the hell are you? It's me. Is this a joke? No. It isn't? No. I'm not that good with jokes. You don't have to be good with jokes. This isn't a joke. Jennifer didn't put you up to this. I don't know a Jennifer. I don't know you. I'm Dan Rydell. We met in the elevator. Yes, we did. What can I do for you? I'm Dan Rydell. So I heard. And here I am. <laughs> yes, you are. Jennifer didn't put you up to this. Stop with the Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> Natalie told me that you were expecting me to call you. No. You didn't think I was going to call you? No. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Tony, run that by. Paul or somebody in the general counsel's office. Hello. Hey, Dan. 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 I just came back because I felt bad about our first meeting. In the elevator? No, well, that meeting I felt good about until our second meeting, which I felt bad about. Well, Dan, there's really no need to feel bad about any of our meetings. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't remember any of our meetings. It was 10 seconds in an elevator. Yeah, but you see me on TV. When have I seen you on TV? I'm Dan Rydell. And we're back to the starting gate. Good evening from New York City. I'm Dan Rydell, alongside Casey McCall. I'm that Dan Rydell. Sports Night. Oh, I've never seen Sports Night. Don't you work for CSC? I work for Continental Corp, so I do work for CSC, but I'm an analyst. They don't make me watch the show. <laughs> there are people who watch it voluntarily. I'm sure there are. It's a good show. Yeah, I like the part where you said your names. We do more than that. I would think. Anyway, like I said, but for this woman, Elaine, I definitely would have called you. Thanks for stopping by. You bet. <laughs> I really do have to work. No, listen, I was just thinking. I really like you. I mean, these little conversations have been kind of fun, and I was wondering if you'd like to maybe have a drink later. Oh, that's, that's really sweet of you. But no thanks. This thing with Elaine isn't that serious. Who's Elaine? Exactly. Dan, I, I really have got work to do. Look, do you want Dan, me to... Dan, I'm flattered, honestly. But I'm just not interested. Hey, you don't have to hit me over the head. Okay? <laughs> At least you don't have to do it seven or eight times. <laughs> it was good talking to you. Yeah, it was a real clam bake. I want to go scrape my self-image off the floor and then get ready to do my show, which, um, by the way, can be seen every night on your network. I'll keep an eye out for it. Excellent.